We are back with another review, and today we are checking out Bejeweled Frenzy. So without further ado, let's hop right into the review. So we got Bejeweled Frenzy here. This is the board game version of Bejeweled. Uh, obviously, a lot of you know and are familiar with Bejeweled. It's a app and a PC game and a console game that was uh, distributed by, was it Popcap, Popcap Games? And they, uh, they basically created this behemoth of a franchise called Bejewel and here it is in board game form. So we got Bejeweled Frenzy here. We'll check out the rules in a little bit. Let's see what we got here. So we got some cards here. We got some jewels. So we got some jewels here that pretty much represent uh, all the different types of jewels that you can get in the game. That's the, uh, what is this, like the, uh, the Deca, Deca gem or something. It's the the big one for sure. The, they're called boost gems, I believe, in this game. But we got uh, there's the red, you got the, there's a little blue diamond, sapphire, or whatever. And then you got the cards here, which have angled cut corners and a glitter design for more appeal, I guess, to a younger audience. Uh, eight and up is what this is appealed to, two to four players. And these are the combinations that they have on the cards and everything is glittered and obviously they match the design to a gem up here at the top so let's check out some of the rules here that we got with this game so it looks like it says to get ready you have to remove all the cards from the game case combine the cards into a single deck shuffle it place the deck onto the table leave the boosted gems on the card case holder so basically make it look like that where it's blank the game is played in rounds here's how it works each player or give one card to each player. Each player puts their card face up on the table in front of them, as shown. So like that, I guess. Um, pick pick a player to deal and start the first round. The player that deals the cards equal to the number of players onto the game case. Cards go face up in any order. Two cards, two players, three cards, three players, etc. The person who's the person who dealt the cards now is the first to pick from the cards on the game case. If there are more than two players, play continues clockwise. Each player takes a turn picking a card from the game case and adding it to the left or right side of their card chain in front of them on the table. So let's check out what the card chains actually look like. How to pick cards and build your card chain. So basically you're linking them together just like you would do in Bejeweled. Collapsing cards. Look at your card chain for the line of three matching gems. Once you get a set, immediately collapse it down to choose one of the three cards to leave on top. So basically you would choose one of these three cards that are next to each other and that's the one that's gonna be on top. And then the collapsed card must, re must remain in line with your chain. You cannot have any gaps in your chain, so move any collapsed cards next to the other cards after stacking. And then multiple matches, so basically you can get, um, you have one stack here where you basically collapse down these uh, silver gems or the diamonds and then you have a stack right there of the diamonds, which you pick the green one to be on top, which now you have another row of greens, which then you collapse. And now you have a stack of five cards. So you got three from the original stack and the two greens that complement the uh, green right here on this card particularly. And then you got collecting the boost gems. To give you bonus points, be the first to collapse a card set of three matching gem colors and collect the boost gem of that color. Take the boost gem from the game case and place it on the table near you uh, next to your card chain. And each boost gem is worth five points. So basically, one card is equal to one point. One boost gem is equal to five points. And basically, the person with the highest score wins. Um, pretty simple. And I mean, I, I guess basically the only way you could put this app into a board game form. And I mean, you do kind of have kind of cool little gems to, to collect as game markers to kind of denote your progress on who's winning this that and the other so kind of a neat game i thought it was kind of an interesting concept the way that they designed the game and the way that it plays the way that it flows is pretty neat i do think that the physical presence of some gems actually makes the game a little bit more appealing it's not just a deck of cards which i mean you don't technically need to have these gems you can do you can do it without it you just need the cards so i like the fact that they actually gave you some gems to to go along with the game itself to kind of make it more interesting and, and kind of connect it to the app in that fashion so if you like this review give it a thumbs up if you played bejeweled frenzy let us know in the comments below if you want more content like this subscribe for more we do board game reviews every single wednesday every single wednesday so be on the lookout for that and have a great rest of your day